So when you're creating an Oracle integration cloud instance, whether it's a generation two or generation three, you're asked a question of license type that could be subscribing to a new integration license or bring your own license. What is the difference between bring your own license versus uh, the integration or uh, or subscribing to a new license that's what i'm going to cover in this video hi my name is atul from team k29 academy so to give you the context as a part of the oracle integration cloud training program i was we were creating an integration cloud instance and one of the question came from one of, uh, one of the attendees who are part of the program saying hey what is the difference between these two what is bring your own license means so typically first and important thing to understand is that everything that you do most of these days now with Oracle when you're creating an account or any any services that you do there's a help available and handy and that probably might point you to uh, the respective documentation in this particular case if you click on this it will take you to this documentation which talks about what this licensing type means now bring your own license means when you're creating an instance or anything on cloud there are two parts that come part number one is our the two parts for the costing point of view. One costing is about when you're creating um, the underlying resources like a virtual machine or compute we call CPU memory uh, and any other integrations that required to run that one part of that. And second part is associated license. Now that you might be in a situation where you already have a another existing license like Oracle Fusion middleware license or maybe Oracle SOA, Oracle Service Bus, Fusion Middleware, any of that licenses that you already have. And now instead of using that on on-premise, you want to use them into uh, for new integration cloud. You can you can basically exchange, do there's some formula, there's some licensing implications available. And if you already have that license, which is Oracle Fusion Middleware license, instead of using them in on-premise, uh, you can use them in cloud now in Oracle Integration Cloud. That's what that means. Now, other thing is that in integration cloud, it's all about exchanging of messages. Uh, so that Oracle Fusion Midware license gives you an on an average 20,000 messages uh, that you go and within a specific time frame, and that is what you do per hour. So per hour, you can have up to 20,000 message exchange. If you're creating and uh, buying your own new license as a part of this creating instance, you can do that. That gives you a chunks of 5,000 messages. So, and you can change that as well. And that's what it means. Um, so that is just a quick tip, quick video. If you have any questions like that, uh, you can um, you can also uh, ask or leave a comment. And also if you're creating an integration uh, cloud instance, just want to give you a tip on, we're recording it at end of 2023. And now there is a generation three version of available and also there is a generation two available as well so when you're going for documentation those documentation will come handy so when you're going for documentation make sure that you're looking at appropriate documentation whether it's a generation two or generation three there's also some customers who are on generation one very old i can see come some customers around as well uh, yeah so let us know if you have any other question as well or any other um, um, doubt you have with respect to creating an instance leave a comment or question or any other help you need in Oracle Integration Cloud. Here there's one more thing before you go. If you need any help in your Oracle Integration Cloud career in terms of you need a career guidance or you're implementing something and you're hitting issues where you need our support, uh, we have a dedicated program where we can help you in your journey whether you're a complete beginner or already working into Oracle Integration Cloud and want to dig deeper or become an expert, you can book a free call with my team by going to this URL k29academy.com forward slash book call dash OIC. You, there's, you'll be redirected to a page like this where you'll be answering some simple questions, some simple questions, including uh, your name, phone number, email address, uh, and then a couple of questions that will help you to see if we can really help you or not. So if you're starting for simple questions, answer these questions. And at the end of these questions, you will come to a page where you can do a book initial 15 minute call with my team. And if we think that you're right fit for us and we can help you, we'll definitely connect you with me and my team and other OIC experts where you can ask questions as well. So go to this URL, ketonacademy.com forward slash book call dash OIC that you see at the top and we'll be glad to help you with that. This is Atul from team Ketone Academy. Thanks for listening um, and let's go back to the video now.